Howdy folks, TJ here. It's been about a month since I made my last video. Uh, this video is going to be on the current Specky update number 22. But before we get into that, uh, yeah, on my Patreon site uh, earlier in September, I had said, hey, you know, uh, September's really busy at work. I've taken on some new responsibilities. And so the first half of September, I was just too busy uh, with work. And then my wife and I just uh, came back from a vacation. A vacation for us is camping. So we've been away for uh, about 10 nights camping out in the primitive Northern California mountains, enjoying a little R&R, &R, a little fishing, a little reading, a little beating up by our two puppies that we brought with us. Uh, so yeah, been very busy uh, time, and uh, but now it's October, uh, the spooky season. I normally love to play video games, something with a spooky feel uh, in October. So expect some videos later on in the month for that. But figured to today, October 1st would be, I came home from vacation to a, a nice specky update so I thought we would uh, peruse the update chat about it a little bit and uh, then go from there also want to say a big thank you uh, to all of my viewers on YouTube. Uh, some of them reached out saying, Hey, TJ, where have you been? Uh, what's going on? Because normally I do a video like every other day, it seems. And then earlier or late spring, early summer, I kind of said, you know, I'm going to kind of lay back a little bit. I'm going to kind of uh, not do a video every day, every other day. Just kind of space them out for whatever feels comfortable for me. I've got very busy work. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's good to step away a little bit. Uh, then you can kind of come back with a new, fresh perspective. I also want to give a big thank you to my Patreons. I want to give you a big shout out. Thank you very much for helping me uh, by sponsoring my channel uh, via being a Patreon. Uh, all of your contributions help. Uh, sure, as my, my Patreon site says, hey, you wanted to treat me to a little whiskey or a little beer? Uh, I do buy some of that periodically to enjoy during uh, my uh, video game play or whatever I happen to be doing. Uh, and then some of it I've been putting away slowly into the coffers because I continue to this day making videos off of my Google Pixel 3. Uh, very old <laughs> video uh, uh, basically phone and it works but it's not great sometimes some videos get this weird uh, audio anomaly and it makes the whole video sound like shit uh, I really need to invest and one day hopefully if I uh, eventually get more patreons and, and grow my YouTube channel some more we can use some of the funds to get a camera I really need to I think step it up a notch get a nice camera that actually has good audio built in or I can connect the mic to it, better video quality and some additional lighting because I continue to use that one light that's behind the camera right now that you cannot see. You know, some of my videos look pretty good. Some of them look pretty crappy. <laughs> Especially when I'm playing video games, I'm just panning the camera behind me. I kind of like the aesthetic of you being with me playing a video game. So I don't do any of the video capture type of thing. I think that takes away from the feel of the type of videos I do. So I, so I, I hopefully in 2023, I can build up a, a, enough, uh, you know, funds to be able to afford to get a camera. I really do need to get one. So big thank you to the Patreons because all of your contributions help me to grow this channel. So let's talk about the Spectrum next uh, update. And this one's it looks like there's a big note here. Update kindly brought to you by the one and only Mike Cod... Cod... God damn it. Codwala... Cadwalla Darder. <laughs> I, I can't just say his last name. I know everybody has pronounced it and said say it like this. Cadwallader. Cadwallader? Is that it? <laughs> I don't know how I got it. But anyway, so it's brought to him by him. So it looks like uh, Henrique is taking a little vacation himself. And he is um, letting Mike do the job. So welcome to another goodies-filled update with literally a ton of great stuff happening in the Spectrum Next World. From online multiplayer to chat, uh, video players, uh, elite and well, we're getting ahead of ourselves. So first and foremost, a reminder on the status of the shipping. Uh, they're still on target for quarter 323 as the previous two updates. And I'm sure that's going to be the same thing they're going to see every month if they do a video every month. Uh, because we kind of know the chip shortage and things are going to happen next year. But hopefully one of these times they actually come up with a little surprise saying, oh, quarter two, 2023 or something a little bit different. That'd be cool. Anyway, um, so that's, that's, that's kind of an intro by Mike. And on to the meat of the subject. So next chat and multiplayer. So next chat, I know. I've done a video on that. Multiplayer, 
I'm not sure what that is, so let's read along here. Next Chat is an online chat program for the Spectrum Next, which we know it's kind of like an IRC app, and I enjoy IRC to this day. I do it daily. In fact, my computer behind me is connected to a couple groups that I'm part of. Uh, so it looks like he's talking about Next Chat uh, with the Spectrum Next or the InGo. Uh, it looks like it comes in two flavors, Assembly and Next Basic, with source code for people looking at how to write networking applications. So that's very cool. Uh, the server will be enhanced with a small, powerful scripting language for developers to make easy multiplayer servers for their games, thus taking the Next further into the wider world of the interwebs. That's really cool. I, I had no clue that we could do something like that. So I'm guessing with this announcement, there's going to be some developers utilizing Next Chat in a way, or the servers, enhancing these servers, uh, scripting language for developers to be able to uh, participate. That's very cool. Uh, many thanks to Tim Gilberts. Hi, Tim. Uh, Jim Bagley. Hi, Jim. Uh, and Jim Philpot. I don't know who Jim Philpot is. I should probably, but uh, hi, Jim. Uh, another Jim. And all their hard work in bringing this to life. So Jim must be part of this. Uh, well, they're Jim Bagley and Jim, the Jims. Uh, so both of them have to do with the uh, next chat. So very cool. Uh, it shows a picture of time to exercise those IRC muscles. So they are kind of branding this as an IRC. Back when I did a video on next chat, I kind of said, this is kind of like IRC, and it really is uh, for the next. So that's very cool. You can download it. It looks like there's a new update, next chat release. Uh, so I may need to go grab it. I don't know if the update is different from the one that I tried a month ago. I'm guessing it has, so I'll have to check into that. This is the next basic version of the next chat client. Uh, and then it goes into talking about how to install it, run it, and some useful commands. So we've got, now got dash li or slash list, slash join, slash leave, slash look, slash leave, slash quit. Okay, leaves on here twice. Um, I don't know if they're different leaves. Leave is like, I'm leaving for good. Uh, leaving is slamming the door behind you as you walk out. Uh, maybe they should have slash leave uh, something, some other word like um, slash, uh, I don't know. I'll figure out something by the time of this video, but uh, 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 rage quit. Rage quit. That's what it should be. Slash rage. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, so come on, join everybody. Join the chat. So if you haven't, get your next online chat with friends in the next community. Very cool. Play Expo. This is a thing that I'd love to do one day. Uh, I have no money. I can't afford to go barely over to another state than to go to overseas. But one day, I hope that my wife and I can take a huge trip and go enjoy, you know, time it around one of these type of things where I can actually go and enjoy a play expo where the specky domination may be a little bit more than what we would experience here in the United States, which would be, <laughs> there's just not much in the United States for specky. There's you know, lots of 8-bit uh, and retro type of gatherings, but nothing like this that would have a, you know quite a, a nice specky following. Uh, and I, of course, love other computers too, Ataris and all the rest, but obviously we're here talking about specky, so... Uh, so, Play Expo Blackpool, and it's happening now. Today's uh, the first, so right now, overseas, the first and second of October in Norbrek Hotel. Uh, they are having fun. The Specky Next team looks like they'll be in attendance uh, and showing Nexts, all sorts of cool stuff. So, if you're there, take pictures. Uh, take videos, post them, and link to them so we can go enjoy it vicariously through you. Very cool. Uh, rubbing shoulders with very cool people. And that is the truth. You know, there are tons of very cool people in every retro community, but I find that there's just one additional, one more than the rest of them for the specy community. I, I, you know, there's always some oddballs. Uh, I'm an oddball myself, but the specky community is just bitching. I, I love it. And that's why I'm probably more hardy into the specky side of things at this point. Jeez, it's about four or five years now, I guess. I've been making a lot of videos about this stuff. So anyway, Blackpool Play Expo. Very cool. Baggers in Space, the detour. Sweet. So we're going to talk about some adventures, it looks like. Poor Baggers took a wrong turn into the, sucked into the wormhole. So it looks like they're giving a little update. Baggers detour is now complete and ready uh, to wing its way to Kickstarter to backers when the machines are delivered. Quarter three, 2023. <laughs> so we've got to wait. 
that kind of sucks. But uh, at the same time, uh, I'm glad it's done. Uh, neatly packaged SD cards. Oh, you know, I'm going to... So I'm guessing uh, it's going to be on our SD card of the Specky Next. I wonder if he'll make... They probably will. Rusty Pixels will probably make hard copy, and I will buy a copy, too, because I love having hard copies of... Oh, let's see, Norton 360 is telling me a system update's needed. Damn Norton. Okay, so Baggers in Space. So, yeah, I'll get a hard copy of this for sure, because I've got all the other Rusty Pixel titles. So, looks like some pictures. No Zucks here harmed in the making of the game. Well, and it shows, oh, the horror... So that looks very spooky. I love, I love the graphics on this. And showing who's boss. So there's baggers in space, some pictures, and a little update. It's ready, but we got to wait till Q3 23. New distro is out. Holy smoke. I come back to a lot of shit going on. Uh, I should leave more often, so I come back to more shit happening. Literally years in the making. Well, admittedly, we have been very slack in creating a new official next distribution that will come much more quickly in the future, yet we are proud to announce system next 22.09. That's an interesting number. Uh, is it 22 because it's the ninth month of 2022? Is that how they derive the number? Anyway, a, a new distro is out. I'm one of those weirdos that stay whatever the official current shipping end user title is is what i keep on my computer until an official one comes i know there's always sorts of betas and stuff and i'm not a beta tester for for next or anything like that so i don't run any of the other flavors i could very easily make an sd card and do it but for whatever reason i like to stay with whatever they've currently got on the machines that are selling or sold in the past and when they come out with an official one i'll then do it so i have some tasks in front of me. Maybe I'll have to make a video of me making a new SD card and updating to this. <clears throat> I don't know if that'd be a dry video, but that's all right. It's nice to do dry videos once in a while. So if you've come updating your next, uh, or if you have been updating your next, follow along with this frequent updates on Git. You're a Git. And it talks about all of what, what's new. So the core is up to verge. So the system is system slash next 22.09. Inside of that, you've got the core, which is now up to version 3.01.10. Uh, and it talks about all of these things you get. I'm not going to list them out. Needless to say, you can go visit this and read them yourself. But there's some lots of stuff in the core update. Uh, anything that sticks out? Uh... Uh, they're all good. <laughs> uh, firmware. Firmware is now up to version 1.43. And next, ZX OS is up to version 2.07K. K is in Kilo. K is in King. Hey, I hear you have a new king over where you guys are. King Charles. Uh, we see all that stuff in the United States. Um, so, yeah, is the K for king? You got a new king? <laughs> we don't have kings and queens here in the United States. We have just idiot politicians like probably the rest of you guys do. I mean, some of them are good, but most politicians are in it for, you know, doing the politicking. And I'm kind of tired of politics, you know? I just want to live life and wake up and do stuff, you know? Anyway, uh, okay, so next ZX OS version 2.07K. Uh, new dot commands. There's a whole bunch of new dot commands in here. Uh, other software, new ZX DB download uh, for download spectrum software over Wi-Fi. Uh, all sorts of stuff. So anyway, did I say there were too many new features to list? I lied. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of features. Go look at the list yourself. Now, I'm not super techie into all of this stuff. I'm just glad it's there, glad it works. And when I need it, I learn how to use a specific thing from it. Elite Next. What the heck is this? Anyone who has been following along with Richard Halford uh, over the past year will have seen his efforts and struggles in creating Elite for the next uh, Specky Next. So from his frustrations on doing 3D maths on 8-bit CPU, his backface cull code, whatever that is, and field of view removal, each step brings him ever closer. So it looks like getting in trouble with the police since the early 80s. So it looks like there is a way to go still, but they have a video testing my Elite Next bill on a genuine ZX Spectrum Next. You can click on this and watch the video. I'm not going to do that now, but needless to say, that's an option. So if you're into Elite, and I'll be truthful, I don't think I've ever played Elite. So maybe that's a game of the week down the road. Uh, Alien Annihilation. Oh, Kevin Phillips. You know, this this boy is like a uh, Energizer bunny. He is like a procreating bunny. <laughs> Every week there's a new game coming out from this guy. I had a, a hard enough time making one game, and it wasn't even fully complete. Well, it, it is. 
is, but it's, I said there's three more levels that I might do at some point. This guy makes a video game every freaking week. I mean, he must be chained to a computer and does nothing. He probably has a pooper built into his seat at his uh, uh, desk because he never leaves it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so it looks like he's fired up a, a new blog. And he has a Missile Command uh, game type of game uh, done all in Next Basic. And it's uh, Alien Annihilation. And it looks like there's a video that you can click on. There's a link to Kev Man 3D Itch account that you can go download and play this game yourself. Oh, look at the picture. His graphics are wonderful. Look at that. Look at the alien skull thing going on. I don't know if you're seeing it well from there. But anyway, uh, so aliens don't stand a chance against my nuclear prowess. Spectrum Next Video Player. What's this? While spinning lots of other plates, Alan Albright has written a video player for the Specky Next. First up is to make use of uh, was Jim Bagley in between Next Chat and Head Over Heels who wrote a video conversion software on the PC to make source video and convert it to something the next video player could use. Money for Nothing was the first video to get the Bagley treatment. <clears throat> so it looks like initial ver uh, version of this player can do it in 320 by 240 resolution, 16.7 uh, FPS with 256 colors. So this is a video player for the next. It looks like there's a video link you can click on to play it. And it looks like David Safier is in the mix. Not wanting to be outdone, David Safier uh, has written his own video converter. And his first task was to convert the well-known Bad Apple. So it looks like the Bad Apple is now playable on Specky Next. And here's a video link that lets you enjoy that. Very cool. Huge thanks to Alan, Jim, and David for continuing to demonstrate what is possible on the Spectrum Next. And look at that. This is perfect time of the year. It's Halloween. That looks like a little witch on a broom. Where have I seen this one before? So stay tuned for another update. So that's the update. This is actually a pretty big one. I think this is having a new version of the distribution available. It is time for me to make a new SD card, put the old one to rest, archive it, and make a new one and start building off of it. So very cool. Glad to be back. It's October 1st. Hopefully you enjoyed this first video back. Hopefully I'm, I'm getting back in the swing of things and we'll make more videos in October. Again, thank you to all my Patreons for being a patron and helping support this site by giving me a little donation every month. And I appreciate all you viewers on YouTube watching my videos. Uh, every view counts. Click the like and all that stuff and it throws a few extra people at my channel. Uh, I am getting closer to 5,000 viewers or members. I would think, I, I thought I was going to actually get there by the end of the year, but I've got 500 to go and I don't think that's going to happen. I think by me not making as many videos in September, just that hit alone, your uh, uh, people joining drops significantly. So that whole algorithm thing from YouTube, if you're not on it, if you're a U small channel and you don't make a dang video every day and really uh, do that, your channel grows slower, which is fine. I'm here for the fun of it. And the day that I stop having fun, the day I'll make a video saying, audio sore. I'll make another video down the road whenever I feel like it kind of thing. But right now I, I'm still in a pretty good place in my head uh, and I've been doing this for four going on five years of heavily making 8-bit videos. So hopefully you're enjoying stuff like this. Uh, if you enjoy my channel, please help support me as best as you can with just a like or if you can become a Patreon uh, or YouTube channel member, you can also do that and join my YouTube that way. So thank you to everybody for being part of my channel and experience here on YouTube.